In today's video, we talk about how the military diet helps you lose 10 pounds in three days. Hey guys, what is going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and I got a video for you today on a specific diet. And for those that usually watch my videos, you probably know where this is going, but you might be surprised, so listen up. I've recently been asked about a topic called the military diet. I was immediately intrigued. You see, as the son of two former military people, my parents were both Marines. I have lots of friends who are in the military. And uh, so I was immediately like, okay, what is this military diet about? Because the military has a very specific goal. You wanna train soldiers. So I thought maybe there's some purpose to this military diet and how it works. And immediately when I started looking it up, all the claims were pretty profound. Lose 10 pounds in three days on the military diet. And I thought, well, let's, let's dig further and find out how you can lose 10 pounds in three days. For performance-based athletes, I never like anyone to lose more than 1% of their body weight during a week, give or take, right? So, depends how far overweight you are and this and that, but, you know, when you're talking about 1% per week, you're talking about if you're a 200-pound person, that's, that's two pounds a week. So, losing 10 pounds in three days is something that would concern me right off the bat if you're concerned about performance, but maybe you don't care about performance. Maybe you are solely driven by that number on the scale and you associate success and happiness with what the, what the scale says. If that's the case, let's delve into why this military diet might be a good idea and why it might not be. So when I went to the website, the official The Military Diet website, I found that the diet is based around three meals, okay? And as it suggests, you eat these three meals, you lose the weight. So the meals, again, are very, very low calorie. And I don't want to harp too much on this, but what we're dealing with when we try to lose weight is creating a cal caloric deficit. So if you're gonna follow a plan like this, you will absolutely lose weight. I plugged the numbers in to my fitness pal to kind of get an estimate of where these numbers would roughly come in at. So the military diet is this. Let me break it down for you. I'm gonna put a picture of it on the screen right here for a second. This is the military diet as seen on the military diet website. Now, it's very nicely worded and it's got some, it's actually got some scientific stuff in there that's completely wrong. So they try to inform you of how the military diet works and why it works, okay? It's so like certain foods are magically gonna help your metabolism be better. Certain foods help fat loss by putting your body in an alkaline state versus an acidic state. This is all really doesn't matter and, and it's incorrect, but the reason why it's incorrect or doesn't matter is because if you eat a diet, let's say I was to start this diet today and I did it for three days, I plugged the numbers in. With breakfast being a very small meal with a slice of whole wheat toast with peanut butter, a grapefruit, and a black cup of coffee, entire breakfast is 282 calories. And so the whole day goes like that. The final meal of the day is 537 calories because you get a cup of vanilla ice cream a half a banana, an apple, green beans, and three ounces of chicken. So what you're looking at there is 537 calories, but we're still only at 961 calories for the entire day uh, based on the numbers that's giving me here. And that makes me very nervous because, you know, when I'm looking at a person that's trying to lose weight, my goal is not to just make them lose what I would call water weight, okay? And we'll talk about why that is. So for the entire day, I would get 70 protein, 36 fat, and 115 grams of carbs. So what would happen that would make me lose 10 pounds in three days? Because I'm quite certain I would actually lose 10 pounds in three days, especially if I kept up with my normal activities of training and life. Our bodies store water. They store water in the muscles in the form of glycogen and fluid. This hydration allows us to have energy to train. This water has weight in our bodies. So when we lose that glycogen, when we train and burn it off and it's not replaced, we're going to see a drastic decrease on the scale. Anyone that's ever done like a really low carb approach or transitioned into like a keto diet knows that that, that, that phase where you just drop weight pretty rapidly, and that's because you're losing glycogen storage and fluid storage in the muscles. So when you see the scale go down 10 pounds in four days, 
all you've essentially done is dehydrated your body. Now, yes, there may be some minimal fat loss in that time, but body fat's not gonna disappear that quickly. So here's the problem. Let's say you lose those 10 pounds in three days and then you go out and have a meal on day four that's kind of normal, higher in sodium, higher in calories. You're just going to put the weight back on. You're gonna drink water, you're gonna rehydrate, and so the scale's gonna be back up four or five pounds the next day, and this is not sustainable. And so the thing I worry about is any diet that has a fancy name, the grapefruit diet, the military diet, any diet that has a fancy name but it's not something that's sustainable for you, then it's not gonna be realistic for weight loss. Now, if someone comes across this diet that's extremely overweight and wants to just lose some body fat and get lighter, yes, you can make progress, but it's not because of anything this diet has magically done. It's not because you're eating a half a grapefruit. It's not because you're eating a, an apple and they try to explain why these are magic things. No, it's simply because you're creating a caloric deficit. You can take your current caloric intake and start reducing that and get the same results and use foods that you enjoy using a flexible diet approach. Structured flexibility is without a doubt the most sustainable approach because it relies on you. It's not a diet with a name, it is simply a philosophy. The military diet is a 960 calorie mistake and if you stay on something like this for too long, you will get severe metabolic adaptations and depending on what you do with that, you can put on body fat quickly. The phenomenon is called rapid body fat regain. So again, guys, I just wanted to put this information out there because I feel like there's a lot of this going on. It's very trendy. It's very something to talk about. 10 pounds in three days. That sounds fantastic. But anytime something seems too good to be true, it almost always is. Okay, guys, so pay attention to what you're eating and, and doing overall and we can figure out a way to get in shape without having to just go on this diet and that diet and ending up heavier than we were when we started and having more questions than answers. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. Just a short video. I wanted to talk about this topic, get the information out there, and hopefully you guys uh, like it. If you have any questions, let me know. I will link below the website if anyone wants to actually look at what they are claiming. And uh, we'll just have a, a video tomorrow on a different topic. All right, guys, have an awesome day. This is Paul, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.